Hey everyone, it's Mika. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. And yes, I'm wearing the same shirt because I'm doing these videos back to back. Yeah, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. One thing you guys should know about me is I live in Walmart. More specifically, I like to go into the hair product section to see if there's anything new that I haven't seen before so I can think about whether or not I want to buy it and whether or not I want to share it with you guys. I found a new detangling tool that um, piqued my interest. So before I bought it, I tried to go on YouTube to see if anyone had really talked about it online in vlogs or whatever. Um, there were a few reviews on it, but those people were not um, rich in melanin. <laughs> so I figured I'll um, put it to the test since I have one of the kinkiest textures in the spectrum of natural hair. With all of that being said, the name of the brush is the Carico Tangle Buster, and this is it here. And what really piqued my interest about it is I said, hmm, this looks really similar to Felicia Leatherwood's detangling brush. I wonder if it's as good as Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. Here is the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. I mean, there is a difference, of course, in you know the overall look of it but when it comes to the design it's pretty similar in terms of having um, the brush bristles on rows that are flexible looking at it right away you can see that the obvious difference is the size of the brush in general way the tangle buster is way bigger than the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush you can also see the surface area of the brush bristles is a lot bigger than the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush let's go ahead and count the rows of bristles the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush has one two three four five six seven the tangle buster has one two three four five six seven eight nine so not really a significant difference in the amount of rows of bristles but you can see clearly that the surface area for the tangle buster is a lot wider but the difference still is the surface area it's a lot more wide in both dimensions for the tangle buster so let's go into the packaging and what the packaging actually says um, this brush is good for. Will give you style, shine, volume and bounce. None of which we're concerned with because my hair on its own on its own has enough volume. I don't use brushes to style my hair. I don't rely on a brush to give my hair shine. I use oils and stylers for that. The second set of, um, the next claim that it has is that it detangles, smooths, and shapes large sections of heavy and thick and long hair. The vented base massages as you detangle and style. And it also said that it's ideal for detangling children's hair. Hair is hair. I mean, honestly, hair is hair. So if it's going to detangle my hair well, it should detangle a child's hair well. But I guess they put that in there to appeal to more people. What I actually decided to do is go ahead and try it out on one half of my hair after I put in conditioner because that's typically when I detangle my hair with the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. So I just apply conditioner throughout my whole hair and I split my hair in half and I use my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush as, and then I use this brush on the left side of my head for the front and the back. If you guys aren't familiar, you're first and foremost with the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. I do have a very thorough video um, in which I tried it out and reviewed it. So you can definitely check that out in the annotations above. As usual, the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush slayed my hair every time. I use the top part of the brush to work in on the ends and smooth out the ends and then I turn the brush on its side and I go through the entire length of my hair and it thoroughly detangles my hair with no problems whatsoever. So with that being said, we'll go right into how the Carico Tangle Buster performed under the same condition. Because I already know how to use a detangling brush because of the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush, I basically applied the same technique when I was detangling my hair. I used the top part of the brush to smooth out the ends and detangle the ends and then I turned the brush on its side and I detangled and y'all, y'all, bruh, okay is what I was saying in that clip because this ish 
glided right through my hair like it was nothing okay and I really like that about it 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 did what it says it's gonna do it's gonna detangle my hair and it did just that this brush glided through my hair and I was concerned honestly I was really concerned that it would not be able to pass through my hair because of the amount of bristles it shut me up right real quick okay it shut me up real quick it glided through my hair like it was nothing I am at the thick kinky end of the spectrum when it comes to natural hair so if it works on my texture I'm pretty confident that it will work on any looser textures so after my comparisons of the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush and the Carico Tangle Buster I definitely have to say that this brush is worth it it does work for natural hair and I definitely would recommend that you try it if you're interested in trying it you're not going to waste your money it's going to do its job for detangling natural hair and that's basically it it works subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little bell down below so that way you don't miss any of my videos thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye